Throughout our work with teachers, we ask the question, how do we design handprint learning in curriculum settings? <clears throat> and it was very interesting that we had to look at designing, assessing and evaluation, evaluating um, curriculum activated ESD. And of course, we started with the teacher's concerns as reflected in UNESCO 2021, <clears throat> their knowledge of the topic, the pedagogy to be used, the assessment challenges, the low coverage of ESD in their subjects, the sourcing of necessary equipment, and action learning opportunities. And using our Fundisa for Change approach, we um, took up a handprints focus, looking at concerns, looking at heritage, and looking at ethics-led approaches, where they were all centered on knowledge, um, pedagogy, and assessment. So if we start with the knowledge, then um, story sharing startup, we ask the question, how do we approach ESD with real world stories for learning through story sharing? And this um, occupied a lot of our time and the teachers took it up very readily. Next, working with the sustainable development goals and those concerns. How do we work with the sustainable development goals to link curriculum knowledge and ESD concerns? Then on to pedagogy that related to these startups and these tools, we looked at um, ESD was quite simply a, a process of expanding existing um, approaches to learning. Um, what can subject how can subject teaching be expanded to include action learning for sustainability? And the teachers picked up on this really readily as they did with transformative learning. Um, how does the past inform present day concerns as starting points for ESD? And how can we um, begin to activate change? And then of course, heritage and the science, which are often seen as um, opposite. Um, how can indigenous heritage and science be integrated in curriculum-based ESD? And then on to assessment, and in assessment, um, we looked at how do we assess ESD competences as significant learning outcomes? And then, of course, the um, focus on evaluation, looking at is the knowledge that we are acquiring and the dispositions that we are developing, does it have a practical coherence for us? And does it function within an open ethical consensus that has been developed through the process? So all of these concerns for designing, assessing and evaluating curriculum active VSD are explored in the series that follows. So um, we hope you'll be able to navigate these um, according to your interest and pick up on those aspects that you'd find useful to add into your ESD learning and teaching strategies in the work that you're doing in the subject that you teach.